Howdy, howdy. Hold on. Brookie. Howdy, howdy, everybody. How are y'all this morning? It is Wednesday morning, the day before Thanksgiving. And um, we was debating on doing a video today or even working today for that matter. I set my handling time up to two days yesterday so I wouldn't have to ship today. But we had kind of a lot to sell yesterday so we decided, hey, we're not doing nothing this morning. Let's get in here work, shoot a video. Here we are. So we do want to thank y'all for coming back watching another video. If you enjoy reselling type of content, be sure to smash the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell. Greatly appreciate it. It's completely free to you. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and start pulling these orders. And then we got some more stuff I'm wanting to show you guys and do today. So let's go ahead and start. We're just going to leave y'all stationary today. Me and Miss Courtney going to alternate showing you what they are and what they sell for. And then we're going to jump into something else. So y'all buckle in. Hold on and stay tuned. Alrighty, so the first thing it sold is one of these Mark's little battleground figures that y'all would have seen me listing for my grandmother the other day. And um, we worked a deal out her. This little communications table here, a little bitty thing, 1870, buyer paying shipping on this, so happy with that. Maybe it'll all start to move here soon. Next up, Miss Courtney grabbing some socks. I'm going to go grab some VHS tapes on W9. Alrighty, so this is just a lot of four brand new, they're all new sealed, Disney sing-along song VHS tapes. You got this one, The Lion King. To be our guest from Bale, Beauty and the Beast, Bale and the Beast. The Bear Necessities, that's the Jungle Book. And The Hunchback of Notre Dame. All four of these are new sealed. These sold $59.99 buyer paying shipping, so... I always look out for these new sealed. Now an F. <laughs> Courtney's still on them socks, son. F1, I got to get two controllers. Where in the heck is F1? Do we even got an F1? On the bottom. You got them socks yet? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, this is just a lot of two Atari flashback player one and player two controllers for the newest Atari flashback they're doing like the rewind the minis. 1762 buyer paying shipping on these two. So I finally found these two pairs of socks. They are going to the same buyer, so we will combine shipping. But they each sold for $13.46 plus shipping a piece. So we like I said, we will combine them and send them out together. It's a pair of the SAS, Merino Wool, Bamboo. Austin large, extra large, blue and black. Alrighty, so we sold this Hallmark Keepsake Ornament and Winnie the Pooh and Piglet skating and holding hands and old Pooh slinging Piglet around like a rag doll. So beautiful. Pooh and Piglet whirl and whiz in happy circles on the ice in wintertime. What fun it is to frolic with a friend who's nice. All 1999 is the year this was made. This sold 562 by our pan shipping. Next up is a vintage 1995 Toy Story. I think it's 95. Yep. Toy Story Buzz Lightyear pillowcase, new sealed, standard pillar case. Just one. 2438 buyer paying shipping. So these actually were purchased last weekend, according to Colton, when I bought the Bath and Body Works. It was the Mucklock gift set. So I separated. I can't even talk this morning. I separated them. Sold them separate. So these are the Mucklocks Alamode slippers. Brand new, still with the tags. $14.99 plus shipping. Alrighty, so the last sale we got is the Breed. You can see it here. It's a West Craven production directed by Nick. Whoever you can see it there. And this was out of that huge DVD lot we, me and Miss Courtney purchased. And this actually sold to a friend of the channel and viewer. I want to read you her message. It says... Hi guys, just wanted to say I love your YouTube channel and try to watch every episode. Can't wait for Little Crimson to show her little face. By the way, can you make sure you package this extremely well? What are we telling, Courtney? Don't tell me how to package Don't stuff. tell me how to do my job. <laughs> She's, and she goes on and says, I'm just kidding. I know how much you love that request. LOL. Just throw it in a bubble mailer and ship that bad boy to me. Smiley face. 
Can't wait for another episode. Wishing you guys nothing but the best. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. This is going out to Catherine. Catherine, thank you so much for the support, the funny message. And, so, um, so let me see it I mean, quick. it makes me laugh. Watch this. Live. What ain't live? Hallelujah. With your stickers and your card and... We right in the bubble mail are sending that bad boy straight to you. Voila. Done. Done. <laughs> hey, Catherine. Thank you again for that. It's going down to Florida. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. And let me know how it is. Because I, I kept me out one, but I ain't watched it yet. So leave me a comment. Let me know if it's any good. So yeah, that's our orders. We're gonna get this stuff packed up and then I'm gonna do some work while Miss Courtney lists. So I'm gonna show y'all that so y'all stay tuned. Something stinks. Smells like that stink bug jelly bean. I don't know if it's just a whiff of your coffee, but when I smell it. No, when I smell it, it smells like her. Mm. I don't know, it's weird. Anyhow, we was gonna do a, some footage over at the shop. Like I was gonna move the death pile and all this, that and the other. Decided not to because we may be moving buildings or whatever, getting a store. So we're going to wait and see how it turns out. So I ain't got to do double the work. So now we are back at the house, as y'all can see. Christmas tree behind us. Got the coffee. And um, after we left the shop this morning, we got all our photos done for our listings today. Went over to the post office to check the P.O. box. And Miss um, Courtney had an envelope in there. So it's not marked anything on the front, just... Redneck Resale, P.O. Box 232, Center, Alabama, 35960, which is our P.O. Box. No return address or anything like that. No name on the back. So she opens it up, and there's still no name on this thing. So what we figured out, I tracked what was in it, and it was printed at the local, at the, that post office. At our post office. Well, about a month ago. It's probably a little over a month. We were having the registries, you know, we had the baby registry and we was having the gifts sent, you know, y'all would buy the registry gifts and it was being sent to us here at the house. And we also had our P.O. box linked down below for if you didn't want to buy off the registry, but the registries were linked to our house here. Well, the one on Amazon was created, the registry was created through one of our Amazon accounts and somehow our P.O. box got mixed up in that somehow due to Amazon glitches. It was a different Amazon account. I didn't use our normal Yeah, it was, I don't know how they got it. No idea yeah. how they tied it together. Well, anyhow, about a month ago, some of the gifts were getting sent from Amazon to the P.O. box, which they were supposed to be coming here. And so I went over there to check it. I had the tracking number says it's delivered. There were supposed to be three packages, and one of them was in our P.O. box. And I pulled it out and seen it had P.O. box 233 on it, which ours is 232. And the other ones were supposed to be delivered too. So I went and took that one back to Courtney. Courtney gave me the tracking numbers. Went back to the post office and talked to the lady at the counter. I said, well, these two were supposed to be with this. Did it get left in 233 too? So she checked. She said, no, it's not there no more. It probably did. And the person probably got it. So she wrote down a nice note saying, hello, um, these items were left in your mailbox by mistake. Can you please return them there for a baby shower? And um, we didn't really think nothing else of it. We never so I did, contacted Amazon. We never did hear nothing back from them. So Courtney mm -hmm. contacted Amazon and told them what had happened. And Amazon said, well, that's our mistake. We don't even, they didn't even know how they got that address. So they sent us it all out again. So they resent the packages we didn't get back out to here. We got them within like two or three days. Mm -hmm. And we didn't think anything else of it. I mean, because we ended up getting the package well, we that was anyway. lost. Yeah. That's the whole purpose. That's the backstory behind this letter. We hadn't heard nothing else until this letter today, so Miss Courtney didn't read it. Like I said, there is no name, no return address. So we are assuming which it's not very nice to assume, but we are assuming it is the woman. It would from two thirty three. It would have to be because it was the printed. way the way it was Okay, show them what was in there first. Okay. It is a... Money order. $50 money order. Made out to us. But the thing is, see, I would think it was one of you guys or gals, but the, the money note. order was printed in our post office. Like, it was printed at the counter of our post office. And I don't think none of you guys and gals are from our post office area. And surely you would have signed it. <laughs> or at least let me know so, who this was. I'm like 99% sure this is the deal with this. So this is what the note says. Courtney, which, how could she get my name? 
but she received my packages. So that's how she got my name. That's how we figure she got the name Courtney because it was on the package from Amazon. It is a long story of a misaddressed package and me not thinking through the situation. My mother was terminally ill at the time and I was out of town most of the time. After I donated the packages to a local charity, I became to realize the mistake which I have made. Hold on. Uh, so she says, it's a long story of a missed address package, which have been the Amazon package more mm -hmm. than likely. Well, she says she donated them. And, um, I mean, that's great too. I mean, I don't know why you would, that. she, she got them in the mail, probably didn't even look at the address label. Or didn't think about it. Opened them. it up, seen them. And somehow, I mean, her mother was sick. She probably just took the things out and threw the box where whatever. She didn't think about it. Her mother was sick anyhow. And then she become to realize the mistake she made after she done it. Yeah, because the lady put the note in the box and she said she was out of town. So she, so didn't she probably didn't even get the note till she got back in town. And then she realized what had happened. It says, I greatly regret that I didn't think to return the packages to the PO dealing with my mother. And this situation took most of my thoughts. So that just goes to show she it didn't return her. them to the, PO, the RPO box, or post, post office. office. Anyway, please accept this money order to reflect that e that order. I went on Amazon to check the prices, and I believe this will cover the items that were in the package. I deeply regret any confusion, misunderstanding, or hurt feelings with someone else that this may have caused you. Is it it? That's it. That's all the letter says right there. If that right there doesn't go... I mean... If I would have never heard anything or we wouldn't have about them packages, no harm, no done, we got what Probably we needed. Probably wouldn't have thought nothing I mean, I wasn't going to think nothing else about it. But this lady or man, I think it's a lady. It looks like a lady's hand. Because it's, it's in pretty She world. thought She realized the mistake she had made. She had received somebody's baby shower gift. And, I mean, there's no way for me to know who this lady was. There's still no way. And she didn't. She donated. She says that I, I have no reason to think anything in this letter is a lie. She did donate them or she wouldn't have even wrote this letter. So she donated these things and then she felt, found out, realized what had happened. and She felt bad. And give us give $50 to cover those items. I mean, that's unbelievable. But she took honest. the time also to look on Amazon. I mean, she went through a lot to do this. I mean, that right yeah. there shows that it's, it's good people still in this world, 110%. Even though she was going through rough times with her mom. And then me and Courtney was like, well, should we keep this money even though we got the package? Because then we're going to feel bad for keeping the money. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she has our YouTube or she would have contacted us yet. But, um, so, I mean, now what do we do, you know? What do y'all think we should do? Should we just write a thank you note and tell her it was no and hard And keep the feelings? money, or should we take the money and put it towards something good? Or should we t go buy another money order and tell them to stick it back in their box? <laughs> mm. Y'all let us know what you think we should do with it, if we should donate it, if we should go buy somebody's dinner, Thanksgiving at Walmart, you know, on the checkout line, see some, wait until we see somebody with a Thanksgiving dinner. And give them, hey, here's 50 bucks. Or should it. we take the $50, buy a bunch of random gifts, and donate them to the local charity in or town? Or Toys for Tots or something. Yeah. Y'all let us know what we should do with this money. Because we're kind of at a toss-up. Yeah. We're going to do something. Either give it back. Here, let's give them some options. Should we either give it back? Okay. Option one, give it back. Option two, keep it and buy Miss Crimson something nice with it. And also give her a, a thank you card. Option three... Take the cash, go to Walmart, and buy somebody a Thanksgiving dinner with. It. Or option four, buy and buy toys, toys and for donate toys for tots and or the local donate charity. toys. Y'all let us know out of them four options what we should do, and um, how we should go about this letter. We'll do it in the next video. Y'all will see that. But I mean, that just amazed me. It actually blew me away and made my day a hundred times better knowing there's still good folks in this world. But regardless, we will write her back. Yeah, we're going to do something for it just, her. We just won't have her name because I don't know if the I don't post know. office we're will gonna, release we're gonna, I mean, he, she didn't have to do this, none. Mm -mm. That goes to show her heart. So we're going to, me and Courtney going to do something special for her nonetheless, regardless. I mean, that lady's got a big heart. She just lost her mother. Well, she, it didn't say she lost it. She was terminally ill. Well, terminally means that. But I mean, was it from COVID? Was it from cancer cancer was it from some other health issue I mean, hemorrhoids we, we don't know we don't know 
We have no clue. All we know is she was But we, we felt we wanted to share that with you guys and gals because, I mean, that's just an amazing story of one person's, I mean, actions. huge heart, actions. I mean, who does that? I, I mean. What? Why are you putting this video out? Cause today. Said, we're putting it out today, day before Thanksgiving. I was about to say, because you said Thanksgiving dinner and yeah. you, you're going to have a few hours if you don't start editing now. Okay, maybe not Thanksgiving. Buy somebody groceries. We'll do something. Yeah, because I may not make it back down there by in the morning. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe Christmas dinner. We'll wait and do it Christmas or something. Well, that's a long way away. I don't know. Y'all y'all just let us know what, what y'all think. And um, we'll pick one of them and do it. I mean, anyhow, y'all want to see our Christmas Courtney Christmas stuff in the house while we got y'all? I'll take them on a tour. Real quick. Alrighty, guys and gals. I apologize if the lighting is bad in this video. I apologize for the mess in our house. We do live here. I mean, you can't keep a clean house if you live here. But let me show you. We have two kids. Yeah, let me show you some of our Christmas stuff because it's awesome. So, here is the tree. Got the angel up there. They took my toilet paper down. You can see it all here. The ornaments. And then down here at the bottom. They the choo choo train. And they're frosty. They're kind of frozen on the Santa Claus. This is just a little table over here. I made this. This is one of my globes I got at a yard sale. I'm gonna put a creepy doll in, but for now I stuffed it with ornaments and what is that stuff right there? Tinsel? Garland. Garland and lights. I hope you're still showing. You're yeah, we are. And then we got these little decorations over here. That's my granddaddy. He passed away this past December, this Christmas. So we got him in here watching over everything. And these little doohickeys, I don't know if they work. Yeah, I just don't know if there's batteries. No idea. Let's see. They may have to be having the I don't know. Anyhow, there's that stuff. We got the Grinch up here sitting in a reef. And then over here by the the door when you come in, we got it cut off, but that house lights up. You see? See that? Got the little singing snowman, the carolers, American flag because it is raining. And then here's the mantle. You know, and then we got some stuff down here by the fireplace and got the the snowman up here. And then here is our dining room. This is our table. We got kind of decorated somewhat. And then um, over here we just put out some cookie jars and snowmen and that kind of thing. Well, the garland's not even up. Oh, you need to light that thing up. Got it lit up in the china cabinet here with snow packed around it real pretty. We gotta fix it. Essentially that is it really. I mean, for the most part. Oh, check that out. Got that redneck Christmas coaster. National Lampoon. Show them Clark. Get Clark. Y'all check out Clark. Merry Clarkmas. Yeah, so Clark. Hap, hap, happiest Christmas. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this video. Once again, y'all do us a favor. Leave us a thing down below to let us know how y'all would approach that. What we should do with that money. You know, buy somebody's dinner, buy toys for Toys for Tots. Give Something, it back. I don't know. <laughs> Something. Anyhow, thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And we'll see all y'all on the next video. See y'all.